What's up guys? So how about that title? Isn't that freaking awesome? For those of you that don't follow me on Twitter, you probably don't know what happened. This happened, I think like, what was it, two days ago I think? Let me start from the very very beginning. I was on Twitter that day, about two days ago, and I see Mark Mir, the voice of Commander Shepard, the male voice, he tweeted that he was going to be doing uh, like this improv show that he's done before that's called Herald of Galactus. And I absolutely love that improv. I saw it. I don't know how many he's done, but I saw one, uh, a pre I think one that he did, did last year or something like that. 2011, maybe? I don't remember if it was 2011 or 2012. But I saw it on YouTube and I tweeted it a while back, maybe like a few months ago. Because it just cracked me up so much. It was just so funny. Um, and Mark Muir is an amazing uh, improv actor, actor in general, but um, voice actor, everything. So I was like, when he tweeted that, that he was going to be doing another Herald of Galactus soon, I was like, oh man, it's in Canada. So I'm nowhere near Canada. Damn, I really want to see one of those live because I think Herald of Galactus is just hilarious. And you guys should definitely check out the one that's on YouTube. I'll provide the link in the description. I just tweeted that, oh, why does Canada have to be so far? I want to, I, I would love to see this. So I just get off Twitter, I go do my thing, and then I come back hours later. And then I see that uh, a tweet from somebody saying, congratulations GamerMD83 for winning the, the Skype date with Mark Mir. <laughs> I was like, I thought someone was messing with me. I was like, oh my god, I'm being trolled. That is not cool. I thought, how could I have won something that I never even signed up for? And I just tweet that person back going, wait, what? I did not believe it. I did not believe it. I was like, this is not real. And so I was like, someone's messing with me. They know I like Mark Mir because of the tweet that I just did a little while ago. And then I click on this person and I'm looking... To see who they are, a name, one of my subscribers pops up that they had tweeted. Uh, his name is Dark Streetful. And they're like, Dark Streetful, we're trying to contact you for the, you won the Skype call with Mark Mir or whatever. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I start reading more tweets and I see this other, another person, uh, this group called Gamers for Sandy Hook also tweeted me saying that Dark Streetful had donated the Skype date with Mark Mir to me. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god. I don't, I don't think I've ever been so, like, in my whole life. I still can't believe it. Not only because I'm going to be able to Skype. Now, this is all true. This is all real. I'm <laughs> I, at first, I didn't think it was real. But once I saw St Dark Streetful mentioned, and Dark Streetful has been a, just amazing um, for so many things, I am just absolutely grateful for him. This has really made me see how there are so many good people out there. Um, not just because they donated that to me, the, the Skype call, but because these gamers for Sandy Hook are, they're just a group of gamers, people that, that enjoy video games, that they're, 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 they're grassroots. They started, they're, they're not like funded by any organization or anything. It's just gamers that got together and were like, you know what, we should help out um, those kids, those families, those teachers uh, that went through that horrible shooting um, not long ago in Connecticut. So they started to do this whole donations thing. And I will provide all the links in the description. Please go check it out because it's just, it's so heartwarming to see what they're doing. When I found out what it was all for, I was like, wow, this is so cool. It's like I said, they're just a group that, that a, grass, a grassroots group that just started, wanted to donate uh, to the PTA of Sandy Hook. Um, to help them get back onto their feet because of this horrible thing that happened. So there's just a lot of people that are, that really made me see that there's a lot of, st there's still a lot of good out there. Um, people that want to help just for the sake of helping. 
um, these gamers for Sandy Hook, they just started this to help. They had done this, like, the highest donor will get a Skype date with Mark Mir. The highest donor was actually somebody else. They, the, the, whole, the whole story is on their website. Uh, minus, they, they did the story before the, the Skype date was given to me. But you could go on there and you could hear it. It's like a little podcast. Um, but someone, one, one, the highest donor uh, had donated uh, an amount of money. I don't want to say the amounts of money here just in case. Because Dark Street Full is one of my subscribers and I don't know if he wants that to be known. But this, there was this one person that had been the, uh, the highest donor. And they won the Skype date with Mark Mir. But he, he didn't, he was like, you know what, um, I was doing it just for the donations. I wasn't, I wasn't doing it for the Skype date with Mark, with Mark Mir. So I'm going to donate it to the second highest donor, which was Dark Streetful. Dark Streetful was the one that received the, the, the Skype date with Mark Mir. And when he received it, he gave it to me. <laughs> so, so there was just a lot of people that have really made a dream come true for me, but for a great cause. Because I had no idea about this. It, it really, it felt like Mark Mir just fell into my room. Like, like, it, it was so mind boggling to me. It was so surreal. So when I found out how this was all happening, I was just blown away. I was like, oh my God. Because it seriously all happened because of the generosity of a lot of people of, these gamers for Sandy Hook, of Mark Mir, of uh, the first donor, that first person that donated the amount of money to Sandy Hook for this cause, to Dark Streetful for also donating and for being kind enough to sending that 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 dark, that that Skype date to me. It's just, I I still I'm still in shock. I still can't believe it. They're doing a lot of stuff. A lot of people in the industry uh, are backing it, and including people that I'm sure a lot of you know. Mark Mir, DC Douglas, he did the voice of Legion. Um, Elias Tefexis did the voice of, of Adam Jensen in Deus Ex. Um, Sam Hewlett, composer of Mass Effect. It's, it's just so cool that they're backing this um, and supporting this and really making it known. Sam Hewlett, right now, what they're doing is um, they're going to be giving they're going to be giving away a few. They have quite a few postcards, Mass Effect postcards. They look really cool, signed by Sam Hulick. Um, and they're just going to be giving them out to uh, some donors, people that are donating. Um, so it, that's just awesome. And the the highest donor from January 25th, 2013, through February 8th, will get a, to a video chat with DC Douglas, the voice of Legion. So this is just all so freaking awesome. And not just because, like I said, not just because of the, the, these, these rewards that they're giving. That's awesome. But mostly because of the, um, the cause, what they're doing this for, which is it just, that's so cool. Um, so please check this website out. I'm going to put it in the description. Um, they, I spoke to somebody already through email, and they're super awesome. They're so nice. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Just a Skype chat with Mark Mir on February 6th. You can imagine how excited I am. I've, I haven't been able to stop smiling since then. I, I had started the year really bad this year. Um, a lot of illness, a lot of just bad stuff going on. And I, 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 I thought, I was like, man, this year's going to suck. Because I usually, that's what, that's what people always say, if you started bad, um, it's gonna, it's not gonna be, it's probably not gonna be that good for you the whole year. I'm not very superstitious, but it was always something that kind of is, was in the back of my head. And I was like, oh man. I started the year with sciatica. Um, I got sick. My mom got really sick. It was just a lot of bad stuff, a lot of illness. So I was like, oh. but a lot of good things have been starting to show up. I'm so grateful to everyone that is making this possible. So heartwarming um, and humbling. It seriously is. Currently, they have surpassed, uh, they're at like 2,786 donations, which is really awesome. Um, and their goal is 5,000. 
So I'm, I really hope that they, they do reach that goal. And at the rate that they're going, I think they, they will. They're gonna, they're, they're really gonna make a difference when it comes to um, the Sandy Hook PTA, uh, not only to help them get back on their feet, but also, I mean, just letting them know that, that we all care and that we're all um, thinking about them. So that's what happened to me. <laughs> you should have seen me on Twitter. I was freaking out. Um, I, I, I think I freaked out so much because I wasn't expecting it because I was so caught off guard that I was like, Ugh! so yeah. Some of you have asked me if I'm going to be recording the Skype uh, date with Mark Mir and I'm not. I don't want to record it because I don't want this to feel like an interview, not only for me, but for him. I just want to talk to him. I can't record it without him knowing. I have to ask him if, if it's okay for me to record. And I'm sure he would be okay with it. I know he would be okay with it. But I don't want to feel like I'm recording it, you know? Um, I'm going to feel like it's going to be an interview or something like that. And I, that's what I don't want. I don't want this to be an interview. So I will talk about it. Um, I will let you guys know how it goes and everything. But... Um, I'm not going to record it, so, uh, and I'm not going to put it up on the channel, because uh, this is just something really special to me, um, and that's what I want to treat it as, uh, so I hope you guys understand that, but um, I will definitely talk about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.